Hello everyone, in this video we will see flow process chart. Previously we have seen operation process chart for outline process chart. Outline process chart as well as flow process chart is part of recording technique used in a work study or method study. So flow process chart have all the five symbols are being used in flow process chart and the flow process chart is of two type main type as well as material type in main type flow process chart uh, movement of worker or labor is shown in chart and in material type flow process chart movement of material or equipment is described in chart so in flow process chart specifically we are using uh, a template that we are going to learn in this lecture how flow process chart is being drawn and uh, how we can understand flow process chart how we can utilize flow process chart to record the various operation so there is a five symbol used in flow process chart first symbol is operation operation is shown with a symbol of circle operation include any task or job or any activity is described with the symbol of circle is known as operation inspection and second symbol is inspection in inspection symbol we are going to check the quality of the product or uh, material we are going to inspect the quality of the material or a quantity of the material and we are using square for inspection then we are using uh, arrow for transportation symbol this symbol indicates the movement of person or material or equipment then we are using symbol of D that is delay delay is used to indicate waiting type of any material or operation so if there is a certain waiting for sequential operation then we are using a delay symbol to indicate that waiting period then we are using a storage symbol like this and that is permanent delay storage is also known as permanent delay if material or any equipment is permanently stored in a particular place then we can use a storage symbol even after producing any product we, uh, we store product at a specific place then we can use a storage symbol now we are going to learn how flow process chart is being drawn with this uh, with the help of this file symbol so so here is the template of the flow process chart in this template we can see there is a description okay we are going to highlight uh, all this detail so there is a chart number sheet number we are we also write activity which activity we want to include in this chart also we include the which method we are going to use for depiction of the chart present or proposed present means we are going to uh, depict the detail activity that is currently going on and proposed means we are going to suggest uh, what type of activity what type of sequence of activity can be used to depict the chart or we can or to utilize the effectiveness of process we are also described location it is decreasing so then we can also write operative block number 
chat advice you can write name of a person that has who have who has drawn this chart and approval approved by you can use name of any person who have approved this chart also we can write date of chart lastly we use some readable so that will that we will understand after how the chart is drawn so this is a chart in a first column we write serial number second column that is a description of activity that we are going to do then quantity of uh, any material then if we have measured the movement of the material in distance we can write distance or we have measured the time for particular activity we can write time in minute then there is a symbol where we are going to use five symbol operation transportation delay inspection and storage we can write any remarks in last column so here we are going to decrease the engine automobile engine so first activity is uh, stored in old engine store uh, in, an engine is stored in engine store so first we have mark point on storage then engine is picked up by any person so that is an activity or an operation so we have marked point on this line this column and we are going to join these two points with this line and third activity is transportation transportation of engine to next crane so we are marked right below the transportation and we are going to join these two points okay so and then engine is unloaded to floor when we are using transportation means there is a movement of any material we can write distance that has been traveled during transportation and unloaded to floor that is an activity or operation mark just right below the operation symbol picked up is also an operation transportation to stripping bay that is transportation activity and we are marking point in transportation and we are going to join these two points and unloaded to floor it is also an operation engine is stripped main components is cleaned and laid out that is that all three are operation we can join these three points with the help of line then components inspected for wear if there is any wear in component we are going to inspect so that is an activity of inspection so we point mark point just right below inspection we join these two points then inspection report written we have write the report of inspection so that is an operation or an activity that is and we join these two point lastly part is carried to decreasing basket that is an transportation of part we transport the part to decreasing basket that is 3 meter away so whenever there is a transportation we write distance and transportation is done by electrical crane crane so in remarks column we can write transportation is done by electric crane so this is a opera a flow process chart now we can count that how many time operation is going on operation has been done how many time transportation has been done and how many time delay and inspection and storage has been done so in this last summary table we write operation is done seven time transportation is done three time delay is done zero time inspection is one time and storage is one time total distance travel is 57 meter and if we can if we have measured the time of all activity we can write the total time measured we can here uh, 
add all this time component and can write time in minute so this is present method chart it means we are we have observed the activity that is currently going on and we have recorded all the activity in sequence and also given a, we have uh, given an activity with the mark of symbol we have recorded the activity with the help of symbol and all symbols has been lastly summarized okay so we can find that there is a 57 meter of distance has been traveled during this uh, small activity we can reduce that distance we can also know the flow of this process we can also know the, the detail of the process and also we can understand the sequence of operation that has been going on okay so this chart is very useful to record any manufacturing process any assembly process or any kind of different process we can record with the help of flow process chart thank you very much if you have any doubt you can write in comment section for detailed explanation please you please write in comment thank you have a nice day